Hey everyone, Vince here. Today I'm going to show you 31 money making apps that you can use in 2024 to earn money online with. Just remember, depending on where you live, your age and your gender, these apps are going to change in a big way. But in my own experience, they do pay. There's no particular order or anything like that. You guys are going to have to be the judge of that in your own country, okay? I hope you all have a fantastic year. Let's kick this off. The first application is called Pirate Pay. Play game for cash. So this is what Pirate Pay looks like. It's an off the wall type of application, everyone, where you have various ways to generate coins. Now, if you've ever experienced off the walls before, you can probably get a good understanding of what to expect. But Pirate Pay has a huge range of cash out options available. Minimum cash out of 20 cents for 3,000 coins. They also have gift cards that are local to your country. And in some cases, you can actually recharge your mobile phone as well. At least here in Australia, Pirate Pay has surveys that are willing to pay around $1.50 to $1 which is pretty decent all in all. They also have a fully functioning playtime rewards area, which I know a lot of people out there do actually enjoy. This Eat Venture offer is willing to pay me 33,000 coins in total. And you earn these coins per minute by playing the games. And now depending on what offer wall you go on, obviously the prices are going to vary, but I found that Pirate Pay's prices are actually pretty standard to the market, which is good to see as well. Pirate Pay has paid me every single time within two days after cashing out everyone. It's a very solid little app to start off with. Next on the list, we have Cash Arcade, earn instantly. So this is what Cash Arcade looks like when you launch it up. It runs on a pure currency system, everyone. So you can see here I have 18 cents. We can earn cash every single minute by using their playtime rewards area. And we have two separate offer walls available. Now, when it comes to the gaming offers, what you're gonna see everyone is that you can get straight up currency for completing them. Now, granted, usually the more difficult ones are actually going to pay you better. But with that, there's usually a chance you're probably never gonna be able to complete some of the offers because they're way too difficult. With these type of applications, you have to toss up what's really worth your time. Now, what makes Cash Arcade stand out is their no fee cash out system for virtual Visa cards and Amazon cash outs and a 25 cent minimum withdrawal, everyone, for PayPal. The best thing in my experience is that Cash Arcade pays out instantly, which you don't really see that often. So a small little application, but you might get some good offers on it. Next up, we have Park Inc. Earn Cash. So this is Park Inc, everyone. It runs on a coin-based currency system. You can see I have 48,000 of these coins and I have 20 energy. Essentially, every day, 20 times, you can play Park Inc. to generate these coins. And the way you do that is by literally getting your cars out of the car park. From what I can tell, it's pretty much endless, by the way. So you can do this every day. I'm on level 62 right now. Let me just move this car down there. Keep this show on the road, everyone. Generally, each level should take you around a minute in my experience. All right, so I've just cleared the car park out. And now you can see I can watch an advertisement. You get an advertisement every time you finish a level. And then you get coins for watching that ad. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right, so I just generated 2,200 of the coins, which now puts me over 50,000 of the coins in total. There are offer walls available as well if you want to do that. With these type of offer walls, I just generally don't do them on these type of little games. I save them for like the big platforms that we all know. But the option is there. The type of surveys are polefish, by the way. So on the withdrawal page, you can either cash out Coinbase or PayPal currency. 50,000 of my coins converts into 5 cents USD, everyone. And I can literally cash that out right now and get paid within one day. From what I can see, parking literally has like a 2 or 3 cent minimum cash out needed, which is insane. <laughs> I've cashed out multiple times and had no problems whatsoever with getting my money. And they usually pay with in one single day. Although a very basic app, it could be fun for someone out there. Now we have Cash Ninja and Cash Rewards. This is what Cash Ninja looks like, everyone. It's a basic get paid to platform. You guys all know the drill. They have offer walls, surveys, and you can even watch videos as well to generate coins. Top right corner of the screen, you can find your coin balance. I have almost 100,000 right now. And at least here in Australia, they have the PayPal cash out option. Here are the cash out options for Cash Ninja. And now again, these options are here in Australia. Your country might look completely different. But for $1 worth of USD currency, I need 14,000 of the coins. Something that I do have to mention about Cash Ninja, where you have other platforms where like, let's say 10,000 coins equals $1, they have 14,000 coins equaling a dollar. So my thoughts are that you have to work a little bit harder to get to that minimum cash out. But as I mentioned, you have videos to watch, surveys to complete, you can play games with their playtime rewards area, and even complete tasks. Now generally, you can get a few dollars from playing their playtime rewards area, which is definitely not bad by any means. It's nice they at least have the option. I only have three games here in my country, but hopefully in yours you have much more. 
do have a nice selection of survey providers where it seems my limit is around a dollar and ten cents or so USD per survey. Where Cash Ninja does shine though is their off wall selection. So many choices to go through all with their own various prices. Looking at AH Studio for instance, we have a Call of Dragons offer here for 7.3 million of the coins. A Jackpot Land offer here for 300,000 of the coins. And then it just keeps on going and going everyone. Obviously the different apps are going to have the different prices. You know how these offer walls work. This Ever Legion offer for 9.3 million of the coins, no matter what application you're on, I kind of feel is unattainable, okay? So just keep that in mind. As I said, the more difficult an offer is, even though the bigger price, it's more than likely never going to be able to be achieved. You can either watch video ads or watch videos on Loot TV to generate coins. On Loot TV, 20 of their points converts into 150 of the Cash Ninja points. So completely up to you if you want to use that portion of Cash Ninja, but it is available. Cash Ninja has paid me without any issues whatsoever, and they usually take around one to two days max. So next we have the Pawns app. Now this is what the Pawns app looks like everyone. It runs on a USD currency system and the minimum withdrawal limit is simply $5. Now the way you earn that currency is by sharing your internet connection with the Pawns app and in return you obviously get paid money. Pawns app also has a survey area where every single day you can literally earn straight up USD cash by completing surveys. The Pawns app at the moment will pay you 20 cents USD per one gigabyte share. And the the way that it works is that your internet data is used by companies around the world. An example would be like a business wanting to see how their advertisements would look in your country or perhaps search up specific keywords in Google by using your connection. And the more devices that you install the Pawns app on everyone, the more money you can actually earn as long as they have different IP addresses, which generally means installing the application under your account under someone else's internet. So let's just say your friend will let you do it or your family member. Although the Pawns app is definitely not for everyone, they've paid me out every single time without any issues straight to my PayPal account instantly. It could be a cool little passive earning app for someone out there. We now have Misplay, play to earn rewards. Now I would hope that a majority of people out there probably know what Misplay is by now, thanks to their massive advertising campaigns over the years. But essentially you play games to earn units. I have 302 at the moment. And Misplay has a feature called Boosted Games. This means that today's game, Coin Master, has been boosted to 1.7 times earning. Each game on Misplay has its own earning rate, everyone. And this is something that's very important because it could really decide how good Misplay is in your own country. What I will say about Misplay is that it has an incredible archive of games, okay? Like, you can literally browse per category and not many applications actually have that feature, especially in the money-making area. Let's just say I want to play Doomsday Last Survivors. You can see that we have a reward speed of 5 units, which Misplay likes to call hyperspeed. We gain GXP by playing this game. Each game has a checkpoint system. You pass it by playing the game long enough and then you get units in return. Pretty straightforward stuff. That's why these boosted games are critical to your earning experience on Misplay in my opinion. Here are the cash out options I get in Australia for Misplay. You can see I get Amazon currency, virtual mastercards, Airbnb, Coles, David Jones, JB Hi-Fi, Maya, Target, Uber, Essentially, all gift cards based on your country. So you should have completely different options than what I do unless you live in Australia. Misplay even has a reward system as well where you have daily tasks to do certain tasks within Misplay to actually generate extra bonuses. They have a daily reward system as well where if you play Misplay every day consecutively, you do earn extra units. There are player ranks for people that spend real money in the games to earn the premium gems. And even sweepstakes, but sadly there are none in Australia right now. At least in my own experience, Misplay Misplay has paid me without any issues to my account. Depending on what cash out option you pick though, it's either going to be instant or it can take up to a week. I will say though, Misplay has some of the strictest cash out rules I've seen, such as photos of your ID and your address for certain cash outs. I think it varies on country, but just be aware of that. Overall though, Misplay is still legitimate to this day in my opinion. Next up, we have Lovely Pet. Now look, I know Lovely Pet sounds like a silly little application, but trust me everyone, it's actually pretty decent. You see this little guy here? We have to look after him. And we can do that by collecting these hearts, or of course, using the skills at the bottom of the screen. And in return, we generate coins and even gems. You'll need these gems to use the skills. 
Lovely Pet is one of these little money making applications that really did surprise me in 2023 because of all the actual earning options that they have. Not only will tapping on the hearts generate coins for you, but if you tap on the playtime reward area, Lovely Pet will allow you to play games to generate the coins. And again, just like every other app we've covered so far with playtime rewards, depending on where you live, these rates are going to be completely different, but it is nice to have this option. Tapping on the earn more button will allow you to see all the various offer walls that are available. And there are actually quite a few, which is a nice surprise again. Now if we're to tap on the redeem button, here you can see that 20,000 of the coins converts into $2. And this goes all the way up everyone to $25 USD for 250,000 of the coins. So essentially 10,000 coins equaling $1 USD. And now checking out CPX research, what you're going to find is that I have surveys for around 84 cents USD and that's the limit for me with this provider at least. So heading over to AH Studios, you can see we can get hundreds of thousands of these coins by completing gaming offers and other offers that I'm sure you guys have all seen before. Like this Grand Mafia offer everyone for 1.8 million of the coin, which obviously means $182 USD. Lots of slots won, 71,000. Age of Coins offer here for around $35 USD. And if you guys use my invitation code for Lovely Pet, you can earn 1,000 points for free. Which by the way, everyone, you can find every single referral code in the description below of this video for every app mentioned today. And please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment to help Help this video get seen around the algorithm. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. I've cashed out multiple times on Lovely Pet and I've been paid out every single time within one to two days without any issues whatsoever, everyone. Now we have Games Up Golden Gems. This is what Games Up looks like, guys. It's a very basic and straightforward offer wall system where you can play games to generate coins. You can see I almost have 4,000 now. So Games Up has a few redemption options available here, at least in Australia, including Amazon, PayPal, and even crypto, which is great to see. Looking at the PayPal option, for $25 Australian currency, we need almost 20,000 of the coins. For $50, 35,000. Amazon is pretty much the same price, give or take, and cryptocurrency is a little bit cheaper by about, I think, four to 500 of the gold coins. Now, whether or not you're gonna use crypto, that's completely up to you, okay? But the option is there. In my opinion, the only thing that Games Up is really missing is more offer wall selections and the playtime rewards area, but they do feature multiple offers that you can complete for these gold coins. Now, whether or not they're gonna be worth your time, that's completely up to you. Because obviously, depending on what offer wall you're actually on, the prices are going to be completely different, everyone. So that's why I say on every single video I pretty much make, even if the same offer is on those offer walls, because more than likely they'll have completely different prices, which you really need to look out for. Games Up may not be for everyone out there, but in my opinion, it is a 100% legit application that supports instant payment. Next up, we have Sweatcoin. So this is what Sweatcoin looks like, everyone. Sweatcoin records the amount of steps that you take per day, and in return, you get rewarded with sweat coins. Now, Sweatcoin is very unique to me because it has a cryptocurrency earning feature. Not only can you get sweat coins from your steps that you take, right, but then you also earn cryptocurrency for free. And these are the sweat tokens. At least with Sweatcoin, though, if you don't feel like walking all the time, you can just simply watch advertisements every day to unlock the sweat coins up to three times per day. And then you can even spin a prize wheel as well. Now every 1,000 steps you generate one sweat coin currency everyone and what you can see here is that there's a market where you can spend this currency. So here you can see I can get some trials for Audible and Amazon Music. Plus you can usually get discounts on physical items like for instance I can get 60% off these Earfun Air Pros which it seems almost 24,000 people have purchased this by the way for simply five of the sweat coin currency. So 5,000 steps. You can also earn gift cards as well if if you're a premium member. And looking for yesterday, you can see that I earned almost one of the sweat tokens. The first 5,000 steps of your day will be converted into a sweat token. And at least at the time of this recording, one sweat token equals one cent United States. Overall, sweat coin might not be for everyone, but I feel like it's a great little passive application to have if you're into exercise and you wanna get a little bit of bonus rewards. Next up, we have Easy Bucks. Earn money quickly. So this is what Easy Bucks looks like, and it's just like Games Up, everyone, but what you're going to notice is that it's heavily focused on surveys, at least here in Australia. It runs on the same Coinbase system where you can see I almost have 15,000 coins, and right here I have a survey for 13 minutes for 7,000 of the coins. 
rates. As you can see, certain surveys are going to have a much better pay rate than others depending on their category. But something good about Easy Bucks is that there's a play games and earn money option. But depending on where you live, you may not have games every time you look here. The only difference between this and Games Up essentially are the surveys and the one extra playtime rewards area, which I can't even access here in Australia right now because there's no games. But the prices are pretty much the exact same as Games Up, so at least you know what to expect. The only real difference is the minimum cash out amount. For Amazon currency, 10,500 of the coins is needed for $15 USD. And then the exact same other options we mentioned earlier. Same thing applies here for the PayPal currency, everyone, where it's a little bit more expensive thanks to the PayPal fee. And even cryptocurrency, $10 minimum for 11,900 of the coins. So some slight differences there when it comes to the cash out area, which is actually a positive by the way. And at least you get the playtime rewards area as well, depending on where you live. When I last cashed out on Easy Bucks, I was paid out instantly without any issues whatsoever. Next, we have Roaster Earn. Make money easy. So this is what Roaster Earn looks like. It runs on a credit-based system, and you can see I have 31,000 credits. Heading straight over to the cash out area, we can get 20 cents USD for 5,000 of the credits. But then if you're actually to wait a little bit and save up for 10,000 credits, you can get $1 USD. And that's what I recommend you do, by the way, because 10,000 credits converts into $1 USD overall, everyone. So that's how you can break down the currency system, except for random promotions promotions that you might find, such as this promo cash out for $5.60 for 50,000 of the credit. So we get an extra 60 cents for free. And this just keeps on going on and on down the list here. You can withdraw all the way up to $100 for 1 million of the credit. Roaster Earn is the typical type of get paid to platform application with all the various offer walls, including watching videos, by the way, on there. Roaster Earn also has their own type of games, including addition, subtraction, a scratch game, a spin wheel game, capture game, all to earn you minor credits by the way. I don't really think that's worth it that area. I head straight to the offer wall area. So checking out the Torox offer wall you can see here everyone, we can get games that are willing to pay us hundreds of thousands of these credits, which is absolutely fantastic, especially once you figure out that obviously 10,000 of the credits equals $1 USD. So a lot of these offers are willing to pay you well over $50 USD guys, depending of course if you're actually able to complete them. But it is great to see so many different options available. BitLabs has a whole bunch of surveys that are willing to pay around a dollar and ten cents or so. I didn't really see anything over that. Lootably has the watch video area as well on Roaster Earn. And here you can see that 20 loot TV points convert to 60 of the Roaster Earn credits. Again, they can definitely be improved, but at least the option is there. Every time I've cashed out on Roaster Earn, they've paid me within one to two days without any issue. Now we have Gain.gg, Earn Crypto and Cash. So this is what Gain looks like, guys. Gain is a get paid to platform with various ways that you can earn various forms of currency. It runs on a coin-based currency system where 1,000 coins converts into $1. Now here are the cash out options on Gain at the current time in my country. I have PayPal, Litecoin, Dash, Bitskins, and then a virtual Visa card. Now on Gain, the minimum PayPal amount is $7.50 everyone, whereas Litecoin cryptocurrency is only 50 cents. Same thing with the virtual Visa cards. Now, something that's interesting to me is that Gain actually has a roulette system, by the way. So if you want to try and bet your coins, you can, I suspect. But looking at some of their offer walls, we have some pretty high paying offers here. Remember, 1,000 coins equals $1 USD. So when you see offers for like 47,000 coins, for instance, like this Smash Party one, that's $47 USD. So I have to say, Gain actually has some very solid rates, in my opinion like a $74 offer there for Age of Coins, State of Survival, $236 USD offer, and it looks like their survey cap is at around $1.26 or so, which is very nice. While Gain is not the biggest platform on the market, it definitely has some very nice ways that you can earn some currency, and in my own experience, Gain pays out instantly straight to your PayPal account, which is fantastic. So it's up to you if you want to use it, but now you know. Next, we have PolPay, Earn Money Rewards. This is what PolPay looks like, everyone. It is a very, very solid application. Look at the rates I'm able to get here in Australia when it comes to surveys on PolPay. It runs on a straight up currency system. I have $37 in my account right now. It also has a playtime rewards area. But again, in my country, I got nothing at the moment. But just like Games Up and Easy Bucks, PolPay has the exact same situation going on with the offer wall. 
moles. But here you can see it actually breaks it down into straight up currency. So you can actually see how much these offers are going to pay you in straight up USD dollars, everyone, or whatever your local currency is. This type of breakdown system is so much easier for people that don't really know how money making platforms work or how to do the currency conversion on the fly. Like you can see, we can get so much cash from Polpay. The only thing that we really need is time. A lot of these offers are very difficult, hence why they pay so high. When it comes to the cash out options, essentially the exact same thing as Games Up and Easy Bucks. We pretty much have the exact same rates. So again, guys, you might have another application that you can use alongside Easy Bucks and even Games Up. Every time I've cashed out on Polpay, they have paid me out instantly without any issue whatsoever. Next up, we have Honey Gain. This is Honey Gain, everyone. As you can see, I have these little bees that are going absolutely crazy right now collecting data. At the moment, I have 21,000 of the Honey Gain currency, which means I can actually request a payout, technically. The minimum cash out on Honey Gain is around $20 USD, by the way. Honey Gain is another one of these passive money-making applications that uses your internet data in exchange for money. Except Honey Gain actually has achievements where you can get extra cash for free. Honey Gain is one of these situations where again, depending on where you live, your earning rate is going to be completely different. And of course, how many devices you have active at the same time as well. Generally, businesses are going to use your internet for all their various tasks. And as long as you have different IP addresses, Honey Game will allow you to log in with the same account to generate more of this Honey currency. At the time of this recording, 1,000 Honey Game credits equals a dollar USD. You do get three credits for every 10 megabytes shared. There is also a lucky pot system, everyone, where if you share up to 15 megabytes per day, you can win up to 10 thousand honey gain credits for free now at least in my own experience honey gain has paid me every single time within about three days of cashing out guys you're literally looking at like earning five dollars per month if you're lucky with one single device so do keep that in mind Next, we have G-Reward, Earn Money Online. So G-Reward works with the exact same system that Pirate Pay does, everyone, because it's from the same developers. So what you saw on Pirate Pay, you can essentially see here on G-Reward because G-Reward was made first. You generate the G-Reward tokens. I have 16,000 of them. And then here you can see we have the exact same cash out options that Pirate Pay had. But this is what makes G-Reward also a solid application, in my opinion, because they have such a low minimum cash out needed. Although here in Australia, G-Reward has disabled the 20 sent cash outs for now it seems. So we're stuck with a 10,000 minimum G reward token price for $1 USD worth of PayPal. Something that I didn't talk about when I covered Pirate Pay a few moments ago is that there are minimum cash outs to the gift cards as well. So what you're seeing here applies for Pirate Pay also guys. It seems the cash out minimum for gift cards is around $5 worth of currency. But of course that's subject to change depending on what you're actually cashing out. All in all G reward has surveys that are willing to pay around $1.40 USD which is actually very solid and it seems that G reward does have some pretty standard offer rates, okay? So nothing really too out of the ordinary here. Just make sure you choose where to invest your time very carefully because your time is the most precious thing on earth. Every time I cash down on G Reward, I've been paid out instantly to my PayPal account without any issues, which is why I still recommend it today. Now let's talk about Just Play, Earn or Donate. So this is what Just Play looks like, ladies and gentlemen. It is probably one of the most well-known money-making apps for playing games out there. It runs on a loyalty coin system. And here you can see that I have 20 cents worth of currency. The whole goal is to generate as many loyalty coins as humanly possible in the span of three hours. And the reason for that is because once those three hours are up, your loyalty coins get converted into straight up currency. Now, in my opinion, different games are going to pay you different amounts of loyalty coins, so you really have to try and find the one that works best for you. Although looking at Just Play's rules, everyone, there is like a certain percentage of players that are going to actually earn a decent amount for like a million of the coin. Because as you can see, there is a pay table on Just Play where it states how many people were paid a certain amount of currency per 1 million coins. So they really do want you to try and push towards 1 million coins, but there's no guarantee that you're actually going to get a decent amount of cash. Like for instance, for 1 million coins, one time you might only get, let's say, 10 cents, but then another time you might get 2 or $3. This type of loyalty coin system can really get under people's skin because you think for dedicating the same amount of time, you'd probably get roughly the same amount of reward, but that's just not the case with Just Play. What makes Just Play really stand out though is the minimum amount of cash needed in order to actually withdraw your money. But gift cards it's a dollar for paypal cash it's two dollars and for amazon currency it's a dollar now you can also donate your money if you choose to at least here in australia i've been paid out instantly every single time to my paypal account where you live is going to determine your payment rate and i'm fairly sure there's also id verification in a majority of countries from what i've heard but at least now you know 
Next up, we have Money Turn Plain Invest. So this is Money Turn Plain Invest, everyone. It's a Just Dice application that allows you to play games to generate coins. At the moment, I have 1,500 of these coins. And what you can see here is I can play a game called Eat Venture to earn up to 105 coins per minute. What makes Money Turn stand out against probably all of the Just Dice applications is that it has an investment system. So what this means, everyone, is that you actually have an investor level. Every single time you play a game on Money Turn, you can actually increase the amount of investment interest that you earn. And from what I can recall, it generally hovers around 7 to 10% maximum. That interest actually adds on to whatever coins you have in your piggy bank. So all I need to do is play one game for literally one minute and I can earn an interest rate level. And here you can see the next accrual day is in seven days. So ideally on money turn, you just continually keep stacking up your coins in your piggy bank until you're happy enough with your investor level and the amount of interest you've generated. And then you can either withdraw that through the various cash out options of online stores that money turn has, which I generally don't go to this area at all. I head to the more payouts option, which allows me to withdraw PayPal. And now here are all the different cash out options for PayPal money turn. What you're going to notice is that it has a very low minimum cash out here of 4,999 coins for 67 cents. And continuing to scroll down here, you'll notice it goes all the way up to $26, guys. Now, I don't think it's going to be easy, though, okay? It is going to take some time to generate enough coins to reach anything that's actually decent, in my opinion. But Money Turn is leagues better than a lot of the Just Dice apps. But anything that's willing to pay you around 100 or more coins per minute is pretty average. Every time I've cashed out on Money Turn, they generally pay within one single day. Next, we have a loot up, paid surveys and cash. So this is what loot up looks like, guys. It runs on a point-based currency system. You can see here, I almost have 5,000 of the points. Every single day, you can get a free loot chest for simply signing in. So at the moment, by tapping on that loot chest, I've just won a 30% extra earning bonus to my next offer that I complete. And now you can see that it's active. So loot up is one of these get paid to platforms, everyone, that has various offer walls that you can actually complete to earn these points. Points. If we check out Revenue Universe, what you can see straight away is that we have various offers that are willing to pay us thousands of these points. And you're probably wondering, okay, how much money are these points actually worth? So on Loot we have three different cash out options, including crypto, PayPal, and gift cards. For PayPal currency, 1,000 points equals $1 USD. So right now I'm almost on $5 essentially worth of USD. For cryptocurrency, you need $5.10 minimum and the cash outs are Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and Shiba. So when it comes to the cash out options though with gift cards, the rates are going to vary. We have Amazon for one to $2,000, DoorDash five to 500, two Uber, options, both five to 500, and even a virtual Visa MasterCard, five to 1,000. In my opinion, LootUp has some fantastic survey options for people that do like completing surveys. But again, they also do have, of course, the gaming offers. LootUp actually has an active giveaway area as well. So depending on how much of these points that you want to spend for some of these giveaways, you can actually earn a pretty decent return. There are also weekly and monthly leaderboard giveaways. In fact, most platforms actually have this offer, such as game.gg. But on LootUp, they do offer actually quite a big reward for the weekly and monthly giveaways. Some of the highest paying surveys I can get on Loot Up are around $4 worth of USD, which is very, very good. Every time I've cashed out on Loot Up, they've paid within two days, everyone. Fantastic little app. Next up, we have Cash Cow. So this is what Cash Cow looks like, everyone. It's another one of these playtime reward applications. And as you can see right now, since it's the new year, I don't currently have too many options for games. But here you can see I can play Eat Venture for 161 coins per minute. So obviously Cash Cow runs on the Coinbase currency system. Now this is a Just Dice application. So what that means is that we have the online store discount coupons that we can get with our coins, or we can get the PayPal cash outs in the More Payouts tab. What I have heard though is that certain countries have this disabled and I've even seen this on Just Dice apps as well, which is very disappointing by the way. But what you're going to see here is the various amounts of coins that you can cash out for on Cash Cow everyone. So again, exact same pay rates as Money Turn as it is a Just Dice app as I mentioned. And a great thing is you get almost 4,999 coins when you join up on Cash Cow. So hopefully I get more games soon, but either way, every time I've cashed out on Cash Cow, they pay within one to two days.
Next up, we have Life Points. This is Life Points, everyone. Very, very simple survey application. And what you can see is that I have many, many surveys available willing to pay me the currency of Life Points. And you'll notice that it has the time of the survey that's going to take me to complete it. And of course, the currency I'll receive. So at the top of the screen, you can find your Life Points balance. And for 550 Life Points, I can redeem $5. We have either PayPal currency cash outs, gift cards, or we can donate. Now, depending on where you live, the minimum and withdrawal limits are going to change completely. So what I recommend you do is actually check out how life points looks in your own country. Because as you can see here, I have so many cash out options available. Amazon, for instance, is a $5 minimum, everyone. In my own experience though, everyone, life points can take up to a week to pay, but is a 100% legit app. Next on the list, we have Atapol. Now, Atapol is one of the original survey applications that I covered on my channel. I have to say, it hasn't really changed too much in the graphics area, okay? It looks exactly the same, essentially. I'm always wondering why they don't add some extra features to it, like offer walls, etc. But it does what it does well. And that's the main thing. And what it does is actually give you money for completing surveys. As you can see, I have straight up currency that I can get rewarded for completing these surveys. On Atapol, you can either cash out gift cards, pay PayPal, Revolut, or you can donate the money. And depending, of course, on where you live, the gift card options are going to be completely different, but generally the minimum cash out's around five to $10, depending on which one you choose. For PayPal currency, it's $5. And from what I've seen with Revolut, it's around $3. What makes Adipol still stand out is the fact that it features instant PayPal cash out to everyone, no matter the amount of money. So you can cash out $300 and you'll get it instantly. Adipol, it's a fantastic application all around and give it a try if you have the time. Next up, we have free cash. So this is what free cash looks like. It is probably one of the most well-known get paid to platforms on the market at the moment, everyone, with its huge variety of survey providers and of course, offer walls. Just taking a look at their featured offers area, you can see we have various offers here willing to pay up to hundreds of dollars for us to actually complete them. Now, again, depending on where you live, these rates are going to be completely different, but like a 752 grand mafia offer, that's insane. And continuing to scroll down here, you can see there's many more offers available. A lot of the offer walls on free cash also have earning bonuses. What I did notice though, they have a playtime reward area here where you can generate thousands of these coins in return for straight up cash. Now the thing is about their currency system on free cash, 1,000 of the coins equals $1 USD. Now with their survey partners, everyone, even though there's a whole bunch of them, I prefer CPX Research because we have some surveys that are willing to pay up to $2 USD, which is fantastic. And as you can see, the rest are around $1.60. Looking at Torox here, everyone, you can see some very, very big reward prices for us to complete some offers. I think free cash definitely has, if not the best pay rate on the market, or at least it's definitely up there, everyone, okay? But in my own experience, I've had no issues with free cash in the past. Free cash also has easily over like 20 to 30 cash out options, which is absolutely outstanding for a get paid to platform. And pretty much exactly what you wanna see when you're browsing on these get paid to sites. For $5 worth of PayPal currency, we need 5,000 of the credits. And of course, there is a slight PayPal fee as well. They have their daily leaderboards and monthly leaderboards that will reward you for the more work that you put into the application, which again, not many platforms have this type of leaderboard system, guys. I've noticed that as well. So depending on how much money you earn throughout the day or week, guys, that's going to determine how many coins you get for free. Now, you can also watch Loot TV with free cash and 20 Loot TV points converts into 20 of the free cash coins. I've cashed out on free cash many, many times throughout the years and they've paid me every single time instantly. Next up, we have Reward Hero Play to Earn. Reward Hero is one of these get paid to platforms, everyone, that has a whole variety of ways that you can earn coins so then you can convert into various currencies. Now, the thing about Reward Hero though is that it's pretty out there when it comes to the prices. So some of these off walls are gonna be great, but then some of them you probably wanna skip. But I'm just letting you know now. I have around 4,800 of these coins at the moment. And here are the options I have in Australia. You can see I have Amazon for 4,550 minimum. Same thing for Coles, David Jones, DoorDash, some hotel place, JB Hi-Fi. But then we have MasterCard for around 6,450. Maya for 4,550 again. And then we have PayPal for 4,550 minimum. 
minimum. And the list just keeps on going, obviously, there. But here are all the different amounts that I need for a PayPal cash out, guys, in total, in case you're curious. So it goes all the way up to $100 Australian. Reward here, it does have a playtime rewards area, but it is quite low in my opinion, so I generally skip it. They do have the ad gem offer wall, for instance, here, where I definitely think that you should go through and try and judge up if it's worth your time or not. But as you can see, they have all the typical providers you guys are probably used to out there. I know you can barely see it, but for surveys, there's around a 1500 coin cap, which is pretty decent all in all. I cashed out up to $20 on Reward Hero and was paid out within roughly three to four days. So keep that in mind. This app could be useful to someone out there. Next up, we have Lovely Plants. So you guys remember Lovely Pet? Well, this is Lovely Plants. Exact same concept, guys, except you're growing a plant this time. You have these little apples that you can tap on to generate the coins. And if you want to grow your plant, you have to use your gems. Top left corner of the screen, you can see I have the currency of apples and I have almost 210,000 of them. What you'll notice here is that it's the exact same currency system as Lovely Pets with 10,000 of the apples being $1. And scrolling through here, you can see it has the exact same cash out amount as well. You see everyone, Lovely Plants actually has a playtime rewards area, but it's on a per level basis here in Australia, which means I have to play the levels in order to generate the Apple currency instead of just having it pay per minute. What I would do is head to the earn more area and smash out all of the different survey provider and offer wall provider options. Again, you're gonna notice that we're capped out at around 84 cents or so. At least we have a few earning opportunities there to earn about $5 or so if we're actually able to complete them and not get screened out. Just like Lovely Pet, A at Studio, is available as well, which will give you access to a huge amount of different gaming offers and other offer potentials through apps. But just remember, you have to make sure it's worth your time, everyone, okay? Every time I've cashed out in Lovely Plants, they've paid me out within two days without any issues whatsoever. Next up, we have Street Bees. This is Street Bees, everyone. It's literally an application that will pay you to go out and eat or just for every day-to-day -day activity, okay? It runs on a story system, and the way you submit stories is by sending photos of what you're doing. Here's one, for instance. Are you having something to eat with your non-alcoholic drink? I can get 90 cents for answering this. Or if I'm eating right now, I can get $2, dude, for simply showing the food. But what's even better, let's just say I'm going out, I can get $2.50 to send a photo of the food. Every single time you complete a story, you unlock more of them. So keep that in mind. If I'm to answer this story here, for instance, you can see it gives you a full-on description of what it expects you to do. And it should only take me four minutes to submit this photo and answer the questions. Streetbees pays out within a maximum of two days, guys. And I've been paid out every single time without any issue. Next up, we have Cash Giraffe. So this is what Cash Giraffe looks like, everyone. It's one of these get paid to play type of applications. And I have to say, as you can see here, we can generate quite a bit of these gems per minute from each of the games that we can play. And the thing is here, you literally start off with 4,499 of these gems. This is another one of these Just Dice applications. And it is up there with Money Turn, but in my opinion, it doesn't beat it. But that doesn't make it a bad app because as you can see, you get pretty decent rates. We have the options again of the online store discount, which I skip, or of course we have the PayPal method. So here you can see the minimums, exactly the same as the other Just Dice applications we've covered so far on today's video. So I won't bore you with the details, everyone, but all in all, while Cash Giraffe is going to vary heavily depending on where you live, I still think it's a very decent application you can use to get a few dollars by playing games here and there throughout your year. Cash Giraffe will usually pay you within two days, by the way. Next, we have Tally Up. Tiny games, big money. Tally Up is a very unique little application, guys. Straight away, you can see there's $8,355 happening at the moment in a jackpot. Top left corner of the screen, you can find my in-game balance of $2.21 USD, as well as bananas. You see, on Tally Up, people win real money by playing games. But the thing is, it's a competitive environment. So you're going up against other players around the world. But you can see here, everyone, people are legitimately winning money as we're talking right now in one-on-one -on -one matches. Every single day, you get a set of goals, which will reward you with either currency or, of course, banana currency, which you can then use to enter tournaments. Here you can see a huge amount of challenges that I have available, all giving me various types of rewards. 
at least in my own experience, Tally Up has four different game modes that we can play, all with their own unique difficulty in my opinion. Now here's the event area for Tally Up. You're gonna notice various amounts of straight up real USD currency being given away in these tournaments. And depending on the prize pool is obviously gonna depend on how much you're actually going to get paid. You can see the participant number, which is in the thousands usually, which obviously means not everyone is going to be a winner, of course. But it's just so cool that you can win even cryptocurrency on here as well. There's another feature called Power Play. This is where you can wager your own currency against other people around the world in those four different game modes. So the more you play, the more rewards you can get. Now, if you do want to withdraw and tally up, it's a $10 minimum PayPal withdrawal, everyone, which is pretty steep. But I am very happy to say that when I last cashed out on tally up, they paid me literally within a couple of days. Next up, we have GameSpurt. Play and earn. This is what GameSpurt looks like, everyone. It's another Just Dice application. It runs on a star currency system. You can see I almost have 3,000 of the stars. I can earn 230 of these coins, as the game calls them. Now, again, depending on what country you're from, you're going to get different categories available for you to choose games from. I only have two at the moment. But something really cool about GameSpurt is that there's a rank system, which actually improves your earning percentages the more you play the games for in that certain category. When it comes to the cash out methods, I can only find PayPal. But you can see here, it's the exact same setup as the Just Dice games we've covered already on this video. Definitely check it out if it's available in your country. It generally pays within two days, by the way. Next up, we have Ysense. This is what Ysense looks like. It runs on a pure currency system, which means there's no coins or anything like that. You can see here, if we're able to complete one of these many, many surveys, we'll be able to earn straight up USD currency, everyone, which makes Ysense probably one of the best ways to earn, in my opinion, on the internet still to this day, thanks to its sheer variety of survey options. It actually has its own offer wall and playtime reward system. It has many, many different offer walls to choose from, but you can see here there are many many different offers available for us to complete to earn very very nice amount of currency okay and you don't really see this too often when it comes to these money making platforms make sure you use your time very carefully like this mafia city offer here for 313 dollars usd would be very hard to complete but i still love the pay rates available on y sense very very high pay rates dude for sure like look at this man jackpot land 142 dollars usd wow now y sense also has a playtime rewards area Area, but looks like I've got nothing today thanks to the new year. So hopefully that will come back soon. I don't really like their playtime rewards area, by the way. It pays very low. Another fantastic feature though about Ysense is all of their cash out options. They have roughly 15 to 20 cash out options, at least here in Australia, all with various amounts of minimum withdrawal needed, by the way. Like for PayPal, it starts off at a $10 minimum, everyone. Whereas Amazon's sitting at $3. Every time I've cashed out on Ysense, they've paid me within one single week without any issues whatsoever. The next app is called Play and Give, Play and Donate. So this is what Play and Give looks like, everyone. Again, it's another one of these playtime reward applications. As you can see here, the rates are actually very, very decent compared to the other Just Dice apps because yes, this is a Just Dice app again. They own a majority of the get paid to play type of applications on the market, I've noticed. This time, the currency system are hearts. And you can see if I play Eat Venture, I can earn 210 hearts per minute. Play and Give also gives you a welcome bonus of almost 4,500 of these hearts, guys, which means heading over to their cash out options. You can either choose the online stores, which again, I don't personally use. We of course have the PayPal cash out options as well, which are all the exact same rates that the other Just Dice apps have. You guys out there are probably gonna have a lot more new games than I do since it's a new year. But in my own experience, Play and Give pays literally within one to two days maximum, everyone. Very solid little app. Next, we have Qumi. Now, this is what Qumi looks like, guys. As you can see, Qumi has some fantastic rates for surveys. And I have to say, once I tell you how their cash out system works, I think you're really, really gonna be interested with Qumi. Like, we even have a $3 survey here for 15 minutes of our time, which is great for survey rates. Qumi also features a cashback reward area where you spend money through their shops and they'll give you a percentage back for free, or you complete gaming offers. As you can see, you get quite a bit of cash here, guys, for doing their gaming offers as well as their cashback rewards. Pretty cool stuff. And they actually have quite a large variety of these deals. So, you know, it's pretty good if you want to shop online, I guess. But I like Qumi for their surveys specifically. Quite a large amount of USD currency being given away here by these gaming offers, I have to say. Again, though, it's all about the time you have spare, okay? At the end of the day, you don't want to play an application you're never going to get to the end to. The top right corner of the screen, you can see I have a dollar worth of USD 
USD. I have two different cash out options, including PayPal and gift cards. For PayPal currency, there is literally no minimum cash out, which is amazing. For gift cards though, depending on what country you're from, of course, you're gonna have a whole separate set of gift cards, but the minimum is roughly around 10 to $5 worth of cash, everyone, okay? Jimmy's PayPal cash out, ladies and gentlemen, has no minimum and it's instant. Every single time I've cashed out with Jimmy, they pay instantly straight to the PayPal account. What a video, everyone. Probably one of the biggest to date. Please leave your support below. It will help me grow. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you all in a few days. Stay safe out there.